Good evening, guys. I'm Vinayak Rengan and I'm the founder of Search Test. Uh, we help uh, surgeons and physicians prepare for need super specialty examinations. And uh, today with me is Dr. Dhawal. Um, Dhawal is ranked to in offer surgery and uh, I've known uh, Dhawal for the uh, past uh, many months. In fact, uh, he, he started his preparation with us and uh, it gives me a lot of pleasure to have him uh, here with me today because he was literally one of our most sincere students. He used to bombard us with questions. He used to keep the discussion groups happy. He used to give us a lot of feedback. And I must honestly say, we are a very small organization and these are the kind of students who give us hope uh, who give us uh, uh, um, who give us the necessary support to help us run an organization like Search Test. So thank you so much, Dawal, uh, for being with me here today. And also a huge congratulations to you. So how do you feel today? Sir. Very elated, sir. And very <laughs> thankful to you, sir, for providing this uh, opportunity to like be a part of this team, sir. Thank you so much, Dawal. Uh, Dawal, tell me more about yourself. I mean, I know you have told me before, but uh, for the sake of the audience. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I did my uh, MBBS from PG Medical College, Ahmedabad. And I did my PG MS surgery from uh, Sage GS Medical College at KM Hospital, Mumbai. And I did my senior residency bond of one year at the same hospital. Sir. Great, great, great. And um, during the entire course of your preparation, uh, you were a senior resident, you're working? Uh, yes, sir. I could. I attempted NEET last year. I got a rank of 127. Uh, there was a shortage of my preparation on my side because I didn't get time for preparation during my residency. So I joined uh, search test in my senior residency and I'm with it since past year, one year throughout the course of my preparation. Sir. So uh, um, I'm obviously going to get into the uh, specifics of your uh, preparation, but I have one major question. Why don't you surgery? Uh, sir, I have some, uh, I have uh, patients personally in my family who have been treated well by an oncosurgeon. So it was a childhood dream, first of all, to be an oncosurgeon. And uh, I would like to, uh, in, like, India is a country where the next possible pandemic is going to be malignancy. And it is on an increasing trend. So screening protocols in our country are very poor. So that is a point where we should actually be par with the westernized world. So that is the thing I would like to enhance. And uh, there is a common notion which I commonly hear from people around me uh, who are laymen. They tell that I have been diagnosed with a cancer, so I have probably a three or six months period to live. So it is all for all those patients that we could provide a hope that malignancy is not incurable. Definitely it's a deadly disease, but at the end, if you get proper treatment at a proper time, if you're diagnosed early and you're treated appropriately with the proper protocol, then definitely you have a better quality of life and a good prosperous life. I think uh, the point Dawal has made here is very, very clear and uh, uh, very important. Uh, in the modern era, with the advent of uh, uh, new techniques in surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy, uh, cancer many a times is just another disease. Uh, it is does not mean a death sentence. And that's a very interesting uh, 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 chain of thought because just a few days ago, a very good family friend of mine um, with metastatic breast cancer was given options which could prolong her life significantly. Exactly. And one of the one of the one of the words which uh, the oncologist uh, told her was very striking. She said, "Treat this like how you treat diabetes." The exactly. fact that an oncologist is able to offer hope to a person with metastatic breast cancer and tell them that, yes, we are not going to cure you, but you're going to keep this in control for hopefully for years to come. And I think, yes. uh, I think that's beautiful. I think that's beautiful because it gives hope to millions of families throughout the world. And, uh, and, 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 and I have great respect for oncosurgeons because unlike what people think, uh, people who enter oncosurgery are not just people who are intent after money or the same. Because there's, there's this common perception that onco is the earning branch. So that's why people enter into it. I, I I really don't think so. I mean, it is a factor for many of many people, no doubt. Uh, but um, the past uh, few months, I've been interacted with a couple of people, like Gurpreet. He's from Grant. He got ranked yes. two in uh, AIMS, and, yes. and you. And I was talking to uh, rank one in gynec oncology, and I I found in them a, a certain amount of passion. And and uh, and uh, uh, in, in in fact, Priyanka last year she got into AIMS. Uh, she was from KEM. Yes. I guess no, she was from Grant. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was from Grant. Sir. 
he was grabbed. And 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 the fact is that these people were extremely focused on what they want, and what they want really wanted was to treat cancer. And I think that's beautiful. And 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 I'm I'm so proud of you, Dawit, because you're not just a, a fa fabulous student; you're also a fantastic human being. And I think uh, uh, this is something very interesting. Would you like to thank any uh, specific mentors or or teachers who helped you in this particular journey? Because I Definitely. before this interview, I spoken to a couple of your friends also and they tell they sing pians about you because they think they think that you are an extremely sincere and also a very fun guy to be with but who would you like to thank i would like to thank personally the entire such test team sir i have been a part of this mcq question bank since long and i think i would have solved the entire question bank at least thrice or four times the entire question bank i have just loved the mcqs a very good friend of mine raj was a part of the surgery team and uh, he was a UG uh, batchmate of mine. He was a very good friend. So he used to uh, keep me updated with all the things. And uh, all the faculty of search test, I would like to like uh, thank. I would. There are no words to describe enough. But whatever was discussed on the groups, whatever was like any doubt you have, it was very promptly and correctly solved. And... Uh, it was actually fun solving these MCQs. I would like just it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> For the MCQs, I'm also going to take credit because I created a few of them, especially during the initial parts of search test. Um, uh, so you uh, you spend a lot of time uh, solving the search test MCQs. And yes. uh, uh, so, what advice would you give to students uh, who? Uh, uh, who are solving the MCQs? Uh, uh, no, right now, it's not for uh, for this thing. Yes, uh, it's going to be for need uh, any SS onco surgery. Uh, the general surgery is going to be useful for uh, perhaps a need SS. Yes. But what specific advice you would give while solving the MCQs? Uh, actually, sir, first of all, I was initially happy also when the need general surgery pattern was uh, given for us also because uh, for onco surgery paper we had to read all those allied subjects like OBGY, ortho, and so that headache was gone. So now focusing on general surgery only, that is a good thing because whatever you are reading during the residency will be what you will be focused on in the exam. You don't have to go in depth in any super special per se. So I would say that read Bailey and Saviston and search test has MCQs chapter wise or topic wise properly distributed along all the topics of Bailey and Saviston. So you read the chapter, you read, you solve the MCQs. I was, I initially solved the MCQs in the form of a practice. There are two modes available in the apps. There's a practice mode and there's a test mode. So my first mode was always a practice mode. For example, if I'm solving GI surgery and esophagus, I've read. So I'll solve all the MCQs of esophagus for that particular. And I would like, I would look for maximum possible MCQs where I would get the answers from or where I would find the hints to be particularly interesting. There are some MCQs which are easy to answer, but the hints are very good. So I used to bookmark them also because those are the hints that may provide newer questions in the exam. And what I used to do was towards the end of the day, I used to just take a random test of that particular topic. You also have a choice of MCQs. For example, that 70 MCQs in a particular chapter. So I just used to take a test of 20 or 25 questions. And I used to just what the app will automatically give those random questions from that particular topic and I used to test myself. So it was just like during uh, dinner time or at the end of the day when I'm free, I used to give a small test of 25 questions which would take hardly around 10-15 minutes. So it would make a quick recall of whatever MCQs I had missed or whatever MCQs I had put wrong. So that is what the pattern I followed during the first uh, reading of my uh, preparation. Later on, when the grant test started, uh, when the grant test was started, I used to allot one grant test or two grant tests per week, and I used to solve them. And whatever extra points were given in the hints, because there are many questions which are asked from research papers in the app. There are many questions which are asked from other reference textbooks other than maybe Savist or Schwartz. And the, the questions are continuously updated. So whatever hints I used to find, I used to write them in the textbooks or I used to put stick notes or pages inside the textbook. And I used to highlight those points in the textbook in a different color according to me that this is the particular MCQ which was asked in search test and question bank and I could not answer that particular question or I found it good. 
So I used to underline or mark them specifically in the textbook. So when I read for the last time, uh, during the last one of the textbooks, so I knew I had all the around 220, 200 or 2500 examples of search test covered in my textbook reading. So that was my last preparation that when I read the textbooks, I already read all the MCQs automatically from search test, either from the notes stuck or from the marks uh, markings I've done. And later on, I used to randomly see the bookmark questions of search test. Uh, so that helped me like build up confidence. True, I think, I think uh, um, that one has been very elaborate. Um, because um, when we created MCQs, we are very uh, we are very focused on the fact that it should be comprehensive. Second thing, it should also uh, benefit the students in the sense that they should have the ability to bookmark, uh, apply filters, and all that sort of stuff. We kept that in mind. We also made sure that we did not restrict ourselves to textbook. In fact, it is from textbooks majority. We also use guidelines. Uh, many questions are directly from HCC and guidelines in the on-course part. Um, we would also read through the previous questions uh, in institute exams and the things. And then what we would do is we would see those many of those questions you get in the exams are also not directly from textbooks. Many of them are from concepts because, because surgeons who form these questions are practicing surgeons. If, in, if it's in cancer, it's going to be practicing oncology. It's going to be general surgery. It's going to be practicing general surgeons, sometimes GI surgeons, pediatric surgeons, as we have seen in the last few weeks. Yes, exactly. The amount of pediatric surgery has been phenomenal. I, as a pediatric surgery resident, I'm 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 elated, but that's a uh, uh, that's a completely different thing. Uh, but the fact is that we also went into a lot of um, our research papers. We went into a uh, uh, um, uh, 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 little off the beat textbooks where we thought that the concept was explained well, uh, rather than actually restricting ourselves to textbooks. So so I mean uh, I'm very glad that a student has actually identified these things, recognizes because it feels happy that you you align with our thought process. Uh, so that will. Uh, I mean, um, uh, last thing, uh, something uh, personal, but uh, um, any particular mentor or surgeon who inspired you to take a bomb surgery? So, uh, for on surgery, sir, uh, it was my actually it was my childhood dream to pursue on surgery, sir. Uh, I was in KEM and I have seen a lot of on surgery procedures going on. So that procedures, uh, assisting those procedures, even doing those procedures, just strengthened my will that I am, uh, I actually like the branch which I am dreaming of. So it's, it's great, it's great. Um, so uh, Dawal, I shouldn't ask this, but uh, I'm going to ask you, go ahead and ask you anyway, where are you planning to take up your seat? Uh, sir, I am going for Tata member. Fabulous. I think, I think a person who has done this much, uh, who has reached this level, I think uh, you deserve uh, to be a Tata product. Definitely. And I'm so, so damn glad for you. You know, it, um, we are a very small team. Let me be very honest with you. We are a very small team. Yes. And for us, um, these victories are very important uh, in the sense that it gives us. Uh, so there are many days when I have thought, well, okay, whether, uh, you know, pursuing an MCH residency myself, uh, battling uh, hundreds of issues, uh, uh, we, we, we always question, uh, should we continue this or not? And, you know, Every time I think of this, some result is announced. Um, I mean, the pattern is also unpredictable these days because of NBE. But but every time I think that whether I should continue such this or not, it is students like you who actually push me to like continue and uh, and and uh, continue this thing. Because for me right now, it's more of like keeping um, super specialty surgical education affordable and at the same time maintaining quality. It has been a struggle, but it is people like you who inspire me to continue. Thank you so much, Dawal. Yeah, I would like to thank, sir, because whatever pattern changes this time, whatever hurdles we face this time, uh, we always got a support from you. Even if it was gender surgery pattern, immediately we were offered grant tests for 150 questions. Even when it was brought back to the old pattern, we had MCQs of orthopedics, ENT, and OBGY. So very good, very, very good MCQs in the end, which helped us a lot. And so that was what kept us on the toes. Like whatever we were facing, whatever troubles we were facing, we were offered help accordingly, time to time. Sir. Thank you so much, Dawood. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. Thank you, sir.